G'day guys and welcome to 2023. It's uh, late January and I've come up onto the deer block for my first time this year to set up some trail cams and of course I've dragged my 3006 with me just in case. As you can hear kookaburras are going off. We've probably got about half an hour to go before I have some enough light to see where I'm going. Uh, it's very still lots of cloud cover and we might get a bit of rain so today is really just an explore and set set the scene for hopefully a good good roar come late march the report is that there's been a lot of pig sighting up here too some hopefully might bump some bacon sometime during the morning i don't expect i'll be up here all day it's still pretty hot so get my camera set up early have a look around and probably head off the block about 10 a.m. this morning which is five and a half hours away so I've got some time left so let's get at it start the day spotting deer unfortunately they're on the wrong side of the wire but you can't help that it's uh, great to see them up here those dogs though have gone very quiet haven't seen anything so I'm going to keep looking as you can see there's deer on the dam now I've been profiling them all the way up from when I first saw them and they've come up to the dam so the big question is now is will they come back onto this block because if they do I'm in a perfect position and if they don't I'm in a pretty good position to watch them anyway Deer. 
unfortunately they just continued up that nice pretty valley grazing away and uh, stayed well clear of that scrubby hill that I was on if you think about it, it makes sense that's where the good food and water was why bother walking up the hill to me that was probably the largest single number of stags including young stags I've seen together on this block so that bodes well for the forthcoming roar as I said I'm about to drop into the bush block and do a bit of exploring see if I can bump something and then I won't end up uh, against the fence line overlooking one of the paddocks down there and see if um, something comes in the water before 10 o'clock the amount of heat and humidity I think the game is going to flatten pretty quick so I want to get in a position where I can see in a more expansive way because the trouble with the bush block it is so dense you can't really see too far in front I just had to see where I can kind of um, look over a couple of hills and uh, some water source and see if it comes into water before bedding down for the day. So that's kind of where I'm heading for the, for the rest of this morning. Um, I can see something right now in the distance. And it's a cow. Okay, catch up. Well, I'm in the last part of the block that I like to visit when I do a day hunt and it's an open area now last time I was in here I was filming with my phone and I was looking in this direction so today I'm looking back into where I was previously and that's because of the wind the breeze is um, telling me to be on this side of the, of the paddock this time around it's not an area where you can see the game until they're in the bowl but when they're in the bowl then they're in a pretty good position so it's one of those places where you just got to sit and wait the bush block was interesting um, didn't see any game but saw some great game signs so I put the camera up I haven't heard about heard those dogs again but I'm assuming they're either in this block or the block right behind me that goes up the hill so hopefully I'll pick one of those up in the camera as well as you saw, great deer sign. So everything's looking pretty good for um, the raw coming up in, for me, late March. I like to hunt late March. Should produce myself, a, well, produce a good stag for me this year. So that's scouting trip number one done. I'll try and get back up here in a couple of weeks. Check the cameras. I do have a trip coming up to Bathurst for uh, pigs and goats so it's going to be a bit of a push but I'll try and get back up here as I said see what's about and maybe uh, move one or two of those cameras to new locations as we build up towards the raw um, in mid to late March okay guys starting to rain feels like it's been raining all morning <laughs> But it's starting to rain, so I'm not far from the car now. So I'll catch it out.